Hello you guys, I'm back. <laughs> um, I'm sorry in advance for not uploading any kind of videos lately. It's due to my laziness again, so there's that. So in this video I will do the confidential bookshelf tag. This tag was created by fictional Gooseberry and I will leave a link to her video down below so, so if you want to check that out. There's at least 14 questions, I believe, so let's get into it. So, what is the, the oldest book on your bookshelf? Like, the book you bought the longest time ago. And that book is The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, book 1 to the Wheel of Time series. It's kind of a, a an epic fantasy series, I believe, and I'm really into epic fantasy, especially now that I've seen like the first two Hobbit movies and I started watching like the Lord of the Rings movie, the extended versions, they're really good. Now I'm kind of interested to see, to read this book again because I've read this book once and it was kind of boring at times, mostly because I wasn't into epic fantasy, but it talked about dragons, but I can't quite remember what this book was about, so probably I will read it at some point in the future, so there's that. The second question is, what is your latest book purchase? My latest book purchase was The Stolen Songbird by... Daniel Jensen, book 1 to the Malediction Trilogy. This book was published by Strange Chemistry, which probably you probably know by now. Strange Chemistry is now closing, so I kind of wanted to get this book like really fast, because I know that the second book is going to be published by Angry Robots. So, and this cover here is really nice, and I've heard so many good things about this book that I really wanted to have it. So, what is your most expensive book on your bookshelf? That book is The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Um, back when this book was like first published, I went to a local sort of bookshop and I bought this one and like I wasted nearly 25 euros on this book when I could have bought it instead on Book Depository but at the time I didn't know that Book Depository existed so what is the most inexpensive book on your bookshelf? That book is The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan, book 4 to the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. I bought this book for a really good price on Book Depository a book you have wasted your money on. That book is Blood Red Road by Maura Young. The first book to the like Blood Red Road trilogy. I never got like into reading it. I don't know if I will read it, so what is the prettiest book on your bookshelf? This doesn't need any kind of explanation, does it? The shortest book on your bookshelf. That book is, like, The Pearl by John Steinbeck. This book belonged to my mother and she gave it to me. And I never managed to read it, though. But I will probably read it this year. I mean, it's really short. I think it's just 95 pages long. I mean, I will eventually read it. The longest book on your bookshelf. That book is The Inheritance by Christopher Polini. This like, this is a Portuguese trans translation of this book, and this edition that I have is, like, let me see, it's 
850 pages long. It's like the longest book that I have on my bookshelves. It's a massive, massive book. And I still have not read it. The ugliest book on my bookshelf. Count to Ten by Karen Rose. This is the Portuguese translation of this book. It doesn't have, like, it's probably one of the worst covers that I have on my bookshelves. I mean, the only reason that I bought this book was mostly because of the synopsis. What are you currently reading? I'm currently reading The Lost Air by Tweety Sutherland Book 2 to the Wings of Fire series. I will leave the cover over here and a link down below, so if you want to check it out. Um, that book, like, it's interesting in a way, but the main character of that book is so irritating. Like, I've managed to read 110 pages of that book, and I just don't feel connected to this main character. She is so irritating, like, she's always blaming everything and everyone for, like, even if it's one thing that she did wrong, she blames others because she doesn't want to blame herself. What book are you hoping to read next? Air of Fire by Sarah J. Maas, book 3 to the Throne of Glass series. I still haven't re read this book because I still have the Assassin's Blade and I want to read that book first before, before I jump right into this one. What underhyped book on your bookshelf you love? Gregor the Overlander by Susan Collins. This is book 1 to the Underline Chronicles series. What overhyped book on your bookshelf do you love? Throne of Glass by Sergi Maas. This book definitely deserves the hype. Like, I really love this book. This is the book that got me into fantasy, into young adult fantasy. So, thumbs up for this book. What are your current top three favorite books. My favorite book of them all is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Maas. My second favorite is Throne of Glass. My third favorite is Skip It by Yoshiki Nakamura, this special edition that I've mentioned in one of my previous videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next video. Goodbye!